We are often taught that the mind is the most powerful co-creative force we can have. You've got some people saying the mind is so powerful and you've got to be very mindful of your thoughts. And then we got the Buddhists coming in or like, eh, thoughts are, thoughts are just clouds passing through the sky. Ignore them. Then you got another group. No, pay attention to your thoughts. Make sure you never think of anything negative or you might attract more negative to you. And it's like, what the, f what is it? Is my mind the most powerful thing to hit the, the planet or is it just this monkey swinging around, which the Buddhists call monkey mind. The mind has this role and, and, it, and, it, and it has a powerful role, but it doesn't have a lot of power. And when it comes to crossroads choices, whether to zig or zag, leave a relationship, stay, uh, commit to someone, marry, go deeper, move somewhere, big life decisions, adopt a kid, have a kid. Those are choices that are too big for your mind. So stop trying to use something that's not capable of giving you a, the, the read of the situation so you can know with all of your soul the choice that is the true choice for you. Let's also just for a minute move out of right or wrong choices. Just this is the true choice for me. It's not right or wrong, it's the true one. It's the one that aligns me to the reason for which I was born.